a popular wine festival and big fundraiser this weekend for a local nonprofit is going to look a little bit different this year. Organizers are really having to get creative with fundraising efforts to keep those essential services going. Ashley Matthews has a look at how they are going to make it happen. Ashley. Yes, Greg and Marianne, good morning to you. Happy Friday to everybody at home. Yes, you're probably wondering how does a wine festival happen virtually? Good question. But where there's a will, there's a way. So I'll talk more about this festival in just a minute. But I want to tell you about this uh, nonprofit we have here in the San Diego area. It's called Homestart, and it has a lot of services that are really essential, especially right now. So Homestart has been serving the San Diego community for 48 years. Its main purpose is to prevent child abuse and neglect and offers a lot of different programs, everything from prevention, early intervention, housing, to even therapy for children and families who have experienced some sort of trauma. Fundraising must continue for organizations just like this one, even in a pandemic. But things will look a little different than in years past for their annual Halloween Fall Festival. These gift boxes will be delivered to each participant, and they're filled with things like locally crafted cider, wine, beer, and specialty cocktails from Homestart's vendor partners. People will jump online, and there will be trivia rounds with chances to win prizes and hear personal stories from families who have really benefited from Homestart's services. And this is just one of many ways the nonprofit has changed things up during the pandemic, but the need is there now more than ever. Usually, you know, children and families are, can get out of the home. They have more resources out of the home. Now the situation is, is more of a pressure cooker. Many times people are, are struggling financially. So the control factor, the dominance factor, gets intensified if those people can't leave the home and get those outside supports. So uh, the event is pretty much sold out for tomorrow, but there's plenty of ways you can still help out this local organization. Like, are you good at taxes? Well, you could volunteer your time to help do taxes for families uh, getting these services here at Home Start. We have much more information on that on our website, NBC7.com. Just click on this story. Reporting live from Shelter Island, Ashley Matthews, NBC7.